once again I am back with another video I've been filming like crazy today so if you see the same makeup um, that I'm wearing or shirt that is the reason why so today I have got my boxy charm um, I did not know that I was actually receiving this today I didn't even receive a shipping notification that it had shipped so and I was kind of thinking about it earlier and I was like when is boxy charm gonna ship my stuff so but anyways I did I have not looked um, in it yet but I have seen a couple videos so I know everyone's different but I did go ahead and cut this open and ooh, I see some good stuff and that's what the inside looks like hello charmer let's see let's pull out the card first um 25% off of pure and this month's theme is called boxy baddie all right then and I'm seeing some good stuff here first thing I'm pulling out is the bare minerals uh, perfecting face brush oh it's one of those yeah I've been seeing this in boxes lately and I think this is the second bare minerals products that we're gonna get um, in fact I almost ordered this brush when I ordered the um, uh, mineral foundation uh, mineral foundation um, but I decided not to and I'm actually really glad I did. This is one of those brushes that has like the indent in the middle where you put product in it and buff it out. So yeah, I'm really curious to try that out. And that one retails for, where did my, where did I set the card? Where did, oh, it was on my lap. Um, and that goes for, hello, there it is, um, $28. And the next thing I'm pulling out is by Studio Makeup, and this is the Luminous Loose Blush. Um, there's no shade name, unfortunately, and it says, A silky lightweight brush, brush, what? I cannot talk today. A silky lightweight blush that gives a pop of healthy radiance on the cheeks. It's kind of like a... Oh, it was open. Okay. Oh, at least it was sealed, though. That's good. Um, it looks like a rosy color that I got, actually. And it looks really pretty. And I typically don't use loose mineral blushes. But, hey, um, I have no objections of, of people that use these. I just, it just never really interests me. I never really gravitate towards these. But, hey, now that I have one, I'll, I'll definitely try it out. And that goes for $35, really? Well, you do get a lot of product for $35. It's .24 ounce. Too. I wish they put the shade name on there, though. And the next thing is the Brogigio. Brogigio? I know I'm saying that wrong. We have received this brand um, in a box before. I have used their... Oh, we received two different products, and I can't remember what one of them was, but another one was like a conditioning spray that you would put in your hair after you washed it and everything. And this is the, um, oh, and the other one was, I think, a heat protectant um, cream or something. But this is the deep conditioning uh, mask, which says, don't despair, repair. And I really, excuse me, and I really do like this uh, this brand. So I'm really excited that I got a hair mask this time. So yeah, I'm definitely be trying that out. And that goes for, where'd you go? $20. And I'm, um, <laughs> really? That's surprising. We got a MAC product. That's a first. Well, we got a, a, a MAC eyebrow pencil which retails for $18 and I got the color lingering and wow I've never I love Mac but I've never tried their uh, brow products before and let's see if this is um, uh, I don't know am I doing this right mine won't twist up there it goes oh wow that was really hard to twist up Let's see if this would be a good um that's what that looks like it looks like it might be a little too light for me actually 
but great it won't even go down now I think I got a broken one because it won't go down but luckily I didn't roll it all the way up that much so I'm gonna have to play around with it see if it's broken or not because for some reason I can't get it to go back down but anyways uh, once again like I said that might be a little too light I'll have to try it out and see if it's not but like I said that was $18 and I was hearing or seeing that people were getting Mac eyebrow products and I was actually really excited but that might be a little too light for me I wish BoxyCharm would do what like Ipsy does like um do a profile of your you know your skin color your you know eyebrow color and all that kind of stuff so they can actually match people's shade a little bit more better than just guessing I guess anyways and the next thing is a ooh a color pop hey it's not in a box though we got a ColourPop um, product in last month's box that was in their original packaging. But this isn't in their packaging. That's kind of strange. And this is called Strip. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip. And it's actually a beautiful nude color. I don't, I don't own this color at all. And I love that they don't have a scent. Either have a good scent or don't. Ooh, yes. Finally a nude shade that I think I can wear. Of course... I have Echo Park and is it Echo Park or Magic Wand? Maybe it's both. I can wear those, but they tend to go a little dark on me throughout the day. It's like it gets darker, but that's a really good nude color. Ooh, I'm going to like that. Of course, I love ColourPop's products anyways. And that actually retails for $6. I don't know why I don't remember that. And the next thing we got is this big, huge palette. In fact, I'm going to set these products back in here so I can set it aside. Um, this is by Pure. It's the Suore Diaries. Suore, I believe. The packaging is actually quite beautiful. It's a marble pack, white marble packaging with rose gold right here. That's beautiful. And rose gold writing. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Oh, really? I knew this was going to happen. <sighs> well, at least it wasn't as bad as the other one, right? The other one was completely shattered. Why did they take this? I can't get this open. Give me just a second. They taped the, the cover on it and I can't get it open. Well, i got to be really careful to press one of these back in, but as you can see... I don't want this to fall out. That shade, a piece of it is like a good almost half piece of it is broken. Um, but I'm not going to contact him about it because I can just easily press it back in. But I mean it's not a cream or anything so I can't. This is definitely not one. Oh crap I shouldn't have done that. I was trying to get the, the excess shadows out. Never mind. That is so annoying. But anyways, that's what all these shadows looks like. And it's a beautiful palette. Um, I'm not going to swatch these. Um, just I think a lot of people already have swatches. But right now, since that one is broken, that's so disappointing. But I'll actually... Ooh, that one's really nice. And I'm barely touching these. Ooh, wow. Holy crap. That is so disappointing that one came shattered. And I'm not even pressing. Wow. Of course, I didn't have a whole lot of product in that one, but. And there's that one, and then there's that one. Wow, these are really super pigmented. That's, so, wow. Kind of makes me, I'm definitely going to play around with it, but. Damn, really? That is the second palette that has had sha uh, shadows shattered. The last one that we got was the Blink uh, shadow palette. And two of mine were completely shattered, which completely contaminated the other products. I had to throw away, which they did replace, thank God. But, but I don't know if y'all could actually see. 
I'll try to do a real close up. But yeah, it, this shade is completely, not completely shattered, but it's broken. I had to press almost half of it back in, but like I said, it's not a cream shadow, so um, I have to be careful when I uh, put it up, but um, damn, that's really disappointing. Um, that's the third month in a row that I've been disappointed with a product that came damaged or missing. Um, but anyways, this one actually retails for $34. Um, I have, let's see, I do want to mention one thing. Um, you know, color, oh, color pop. I have color pop on my mind. BoxyCharm recently switched to these little foam things, which in the beginning I was a fan of, but I noticed that ever since I switched to this in the last few months, uh, two boxes I've had received damaged items and of course last month this had nothing to do with it they just missed an item which I'm not even worried about because it was fake eyelashes and I don't do fake eyelashes but but before this I never received a damaged product and now second box not in a row but almost an eyeshadow came damaged, but luckily this one I can use, so I'm not going to bother co uh, contacting BoxyCharm about it. But anyway, sorry about the little rant. It's just so disappointing when the third month in a row something goes wrong with your box, and it's just it's just disappointing. I'm, but I'm really happy about the box. Um, I think I got really good items, and I'm really anxious to try. Um, so yeah, that was my BoxyCharm for this month.